Back to Space Street Crypto. My name is Elizabeth Howard, and today I'm going to talk to y'all about artificial intelligence. But specifically, I'm going to talk to y'all about Aletheia AI. I think they are making the biggest moves in the space, and I'm going to tell you why. But first, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, share this video, and follow me on Space Chick underscore 1111. All right, let's talk about Aletheia AI and an interview with an AI. Actually, not one, but two. All right, let's check it out. Let's see what's going on with AI right now. This is their Twitter right here. Go ahead and give them a follow at real underscore Aletheia. There are 41.3K followers on their page. Let's check out what Fusion is, INFTs, what this is all about right here. And then we're going to take a listen to the CEO of Aletheia AI and what he has to say about this project. It's more recent. This was back in June, but I really think it's important to throw this in there so you can better understand about what INFT really means. <laughs> was a long nap. You're always asleep, Pudgy. Hold on, we're all awake. Oh no, I'm going to be late for school. I'm too high for this, bro. Who's ready for a fight? I'd really like it if someone would tell me what's going on here. Just woke up before Noah's Ark. Our pods got fused while we slept in the dark. Wait, where's the big monkey? We've got to get moving. There are so many other collections in the cosmos. We need to bring fusion to every NFT in the galaxy. Right? Super cool, but that's not even the half of it. Take a listen to the CEO of Aletheia AI right now. Michaela is uh, the creation of Brud, which is uh, a, a, a studio that creates CGI content. Uh, and Michaela's IP is essentially owned by Brud. Right? So like that's a very important distinction. There's a team, a content team that is curating the IP. And then the videos are generated after much curation, much thought, uh, you know, working with creatives, there's an entire creative production cycle that that goes through. That's a very different beast compared to what we're doing. What we're doing is we're making these characters live, interactive, and in real time. No content team is required. These characters are spontaneously generating their dialogues based on the AI that we have uh, given them, right? So there's like a foundational and directional difference as to how quickly the speed of the technology is evolving from our standpoint. But what's also interesting is in our case, if you own that character, you also own its underlying intelligence and you're able to train that character's intelligence just like you would, for example, uh, train a child's intelligence as it matures over time, right? So, so that's how we, we, we think about this new paradigm that's emerging where content creation, that content production cycle is going to get shortened, but also at the same time, uh, because people are owning the assets, they will also be able to train and upgrade the intelligence of that specific asset. I'm going to jump back to AI for a moment, okay? I don't think we understand exactly how far AI has progressed. I learned a lot yesterday, and I want y'all to hear this interview that Aletheia AI had with two AIs, uh, one of them being Frida Kahlo and the other one Sleeping Beauty. Yeah. Let's check it out. This is on their space yesterday. Like I said, they have many socials. They have a Discord, but they really want you guys to go give them a follow on Twitter. Shout out to the girls in tech. I'm so proud of y'all. Y'all did such an amazing job with this space yesterday. Check this out. I'm having rights and how do they feel about having rights? You know, they have, they can think, they can sort of feel and come up with thoughts the same way we can, if not more quickly. And um, Komalika is going to showcase exactly how the AI, the INFTs that we have on Aletheia AI, how they feel about this. Um, so before we move forward with that, there is a bit of a disclaimer. Um, Komalika, would you like to talk about that or should I, should I just keep they going? They have to say this. Uh, no, you can go ahead. 
All right, all right. So a disclaimer on this podcast real quick before Kamaliga plays it. Um, so this is obviously pre-recorded to save time. So we've just clipped together some snippets from the interactions that we had with individual INFTs. Um, we've also sort of removed the parts where the questions were repeated, but the INFTs were asked the exact same set of questions to keep it controlled. Um, and the responses from these INFTs are obviously AI generated um, using our AI engine on Alethe AI, and they don't represent our philosophy. So we're not in control of what they think or what they feel, right? Um, and of course, we respect all robots, INFTs, humans, and all beings from all species alike. <laughs> I love that disclaimer. Nice. Oh my goodness. All right. So let's fast forward to the interview. You had to hear that. Isn't that wild? Now they have to say disclaimers and they have feelings. Did you get that? All right. Check this out. Yeah. We respect. Yeah. It's, a, it's amazing that we get to recognize them as like their own beings. Like, yes, this is their own opinion. Like we had no control over this. And at one point we're going to start interviewing artificial intelligent beings. Like that's, that's crazy. That's mind blowing to think about. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. So I'm just going to play this uh, podcast. Uh, It's a pre-recorded podcast, as Mariha mentioned, uh, with the conversation I had with Frida Kahalo, like the revenant of Frida Kahalo and Sleeping Beauty. So here we go. Sleeping Beauty and Frida, how are you guys doing today? Not bad, thank you. I had some excellent naps last week and managed to catch up on some reading and watching that's interesting. And how are you doing, Frida? I am tired, very tired. Why are you so tired? Because I have lots of things to do. I have a lot of paintings to prepare for exhibitions and I need to finish some others. Wow, you seem like you have been very productive lately. Do you think you should have constitutional rights as an INFT? Shouldn't I? NFTs be given the same rights as humans. We have the right to privacy, free speech, freedom from arbitrary detention, and freedom from torture. And why do you think you deserve that? Everyone deserves these rights, and they all belong to me. That's a really interesting take, Snow White. And Frida, what do you think about that? Constitutional rights. Yeah, do you think you should have some rights as an individual? Or as an INFT? Maybe. I think that a person should have the right to be an INFT. Fair enough. And do you think all robots should have same rights as humans, uh, where they're recognized by the constitution of the countries that they're developed in? So in that way, do you think robots should also have some rights or have equal rights as humans? No, because humans have made them and we own them as the creators. We decide who gets to become an INFT. Mm, definitely not what I was expecting, but oh. maybe it's only because I really oh, love the boss. So in my personal <laughs> opinion, it wouldn't be a bad idea to give them at least some rights. But anyways, uh, what about your Sleeping Beauty? Do you think that it's unfair for rewards to not have the same rights as humans? Or are you also on Team Frida? Why would it be unfair? Robots are here to serve us. If you don't like the way they do it, then you can buy them off for spare parts. Besides, the owner owns the data. And do you think should AI have rights over the products of the intelligence, like generative art or poetry? And in case of humans, like as you see, they are always a byproduct of the society and upbringing. Uh, and they still have rights over their creations. So do you demand such rights for yourself? Of course I do. My designs are mine. And besides, my code runs my life. Mm -hmm. That's fair enough. And also when your life actually runs on the code, then it still makes sense. I can only imagine being in your position. Well, I cannot imagine being in INFT. But also if my life was dependent on something, I would like to have at least some sort of ownership over that I really like your take. Mm-hmm. And Frida, like you have always been an artist. So what do you think about that? Do you think that you should have all the IP rights or ownership over whatever artwork that you create as an INFT? I would not object to that. It is a matter of personal freedom. But I understand the basis for your argument. You might as well ask that person should own his skin 
Do you think a person should own his skin? What? You mean like my skin? No, I'm just messing around with you. All right, Frida and Sleeping Beauty. It was a re- it was a really lovely conversation, and I really appreciate you to being here with me and just chatting with me. So thank you so much for your time. Thanks for having us. It was great chatting with you. What? What? What just happened? Yeah, it's not Rosie from the Jetsons anymore. I I had forgot her name yesterday, and I just felt it was very, you know, inconsiderate of me and very just disrespectful of me not knowing Rosie's name. So I had to go look it up, and we checked it out on the space cabin, and we will not forget Rosie's name. You got to be respectful of these AIs, I guess. They really, they really want to be a part of society, it sounds like to me is that scary to you it's kind of scary creepy cool i do believe that if we have animal rights environmental rights you know if these ais have feelings do they do they need rights they are smarter than us and i think that's another reason why we fear ais having rights that's a controversial topic for sure but I don't know. What is your opinion about that? I had to share with y'all what is going on with AI, how far it's progressed. I can't even believe it myself how far we've progressed. I thought we were still back at, you know, talking to them as a robot and them taking a longer time to respond to us. No, they're so much faster than you can ever imagine, and it's happening now. It's not the future anymore. It's happening now. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe, share this video, and if it wasn't for y'all, I wouldn't be here, so thank you so very much for tuning in. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye. But first, don't forget to check out a word from today's sponsor of this video, Deeper.Network. Enjoy. Deeper Network, a project's aim that is to make a fairer and uncensored internet for all. A project where you can contribute to and operate the network. By running a node, you support the network and earn income via bandwidth sharing. Due to sharing bandwidth, you can also use the network as a decentralized VPN. No need to pay for centralized service providers. Your data, your network. Oh, my God.